The COVID-19 pandemic has turned our lives upside down. Our daily routines, working environment, and social interactions have completely changed. And we are taking great measures to ensure that we and our loved ones are safe and healthy. We have been advised to monitor our potential symptoms should we have any. We are becoming generally more aware of the importance of monitoring our health. Fortunately, many wearable electronics now have the ability to monitor signals from your body, such as heart rate, to tell the state of your health continuously. However, majority of these devices are not able to detect biomarkers from your body fluid, such as blood, that can provide more insight on the state of your health. Lactate, a product of anaerobic metabolism, is a biomarker that can evaluate a person's health condition, such as endurance capabilities and infections. However, commercially available sensors for body fluid monitoring are often handheld devices that require frequent blood extraction, which can be tedious and deter people from using it, unless mandated by the doctor. So imagine if you have something similar, like the Apple Watch or Fitbit that you can just simply wear on your wrist and it will continuously monitor your blood for a period of time. Wouldn't that be amazing? Our lab is currently working on developing a wearable lactate biosensor comprised of a microneedle that will extract your blood and direct it to a flexible electrode electrochemical system functionalized with enzymes that quantifies the concentration of lactate in your blood. We have had some promising results in skin-like conditions in buffer, but the sensitivity and specificity decreased when tested in blood. So how can we solve this? The main aspect that significantly influences the sensor's performance is its bioreceptor. Now, studies have shown that integration of carbon nanotubes improves its sensitivity due to its high aspect ratio and superior electrical conduction. So by incorporating carbon nanotubes in the enzyme matrix, more enzymes are in closer proximity to a conductive surface which will not only increase its sensitivity, but also transfer electrical signal with minimal interference from other analytes in blood. The CNTs can also be functionalized with other nanomaterials such as nanoparticles and polymers, and I will investigate how these functionalizations affect the performance. Ultimately, this research is instrumental to help develop a continuous real-time wearable lactate sensor and provide insights for the development of other body fluid wearable sensors.